As 2023 is wrapping up, let's take a look back at some of the top stories on KFDM.com this year. In February, Texas law enforcement released video showing the aftermath of a fatal crash that took place in 2021, killing an off-duty officer. This video shows a good Samaritan chasing down the drunk driver responsible for the crash in Lake Worth, Texas. In May, a tragic story hit close to home for the Southeast Texas community. On May 29th, a teenage boater fell off a boat in the Natchez River. Connor Curtis was found the next day by a state dive team after hours of searching. Curtis would have been a freshman at Port Natchez Groves High School this year. Community and friends gathered to show support for his family as they remembered Connor Curtis. I know he's in heaven, but when I, when I heard about it, I was just crying. For... Another loss in 2023 was Houston rapper Milton Big Pokey Powell. Powell passed out during a performance at Port 09 Bar in Beaumont. An autopsy later showed that he died of a massive heart attack. TDCJ shocked many across Texas this year with an immediate lockdown of all correctional facilities. The lockdown was due to rising violence within state prison walls. Jefferson County has three state prisons that were part of the lockdown. Weather played a big role in 2023 with extreme drought and wildfires across the area. In August, wildfires prompted evacuations in Jasper County and claimed more than 4,800 acres. Burn bans and fires across the area continued for a month. Texas Governor Greg Abbott issued a wildfire disaster declaration for about 75% of all Texas counties. Finally, moving on to sports. A couple great stories coming from Port Natchez Groves ISD. Roshan Johnson celebrated a fourth round draft pick by the Chicago Bears in April. As a 2019 PNG graduate, Johnson was a legend for PNG under the Friday Night Lights in Southeast Texas. And now he's making a name for himself on the professional level. Testing out, seeing what I can do, how I can contribute. So uh, I just got to, you know, prove to them what I'm capable of doing and just uh, take, it, take it a day at a time. PNG keeping its name in the news this year with a great football run, taking them all the way to the state championship. In December, PNG won the 5A Division II state championship game against South Oak Cliff 20 to 17. The community rallied behind the team to celebrate this win all month long. That wraps up our top web stories for 2023. Thanks to you, our loyal viewers, for making this year great. We at KFDM can't wait to see what 2024 has in store. Be sure to follow us on all of your favorite social platforms and tune in on air or online daily to stay up to date on your top headlines.